Hi everyone and welcome back to Fun Facts About the Saints. Ah! Lights! Oh uh, hey there, Nick. Oh hi there. And today we have uh, um, a very special guest today. We have St. John of the Cross. Hi there, Nick. You're probably wondering why we're having this interview in the dark. Yeah, why are we having on this interview in the dark? Well, Nick, um... I've just saw. Thank you for having me on your show, by the way. Oh, uh, well, what can I say? Uh, part of the part of it's in the dark is because I'm. Um, I was a uh, 16th century uh, Carmelite. Mm. I was a reformer, kind of like I know you had my friend, my good friend uh, Saint Teresa of Avila on your show. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was like my partner. We we were uh, kind of like colleagues in trying to reform the Carmelite order in the 16th century and. Wow. Um, we did a lot. I wrote a lot of spiritual works, and I'm actually a doctor of the church. You don't say. I was very, I was very honored by that. Yes. Mm. Uh, but uh, much, some of my writings. One of the things that I was known for is a poem and some other writings that I did that had to do with what's called the Dark Night of the Soul. Ah. Uh, and uh, that sounds kind of well. Dark. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> as the name as the name implies <laughs> uh, but the dark night of the soul in general terms has to do with that sometimes in the spiritual life that God lets it lets us experience even when we're very close to him like I was mm. and Teresa was and other people Teresa um, of Calcutta and other people Teresa of Lazoo and another Carmelite uh, many many people get very close to the Lord experience what what I call the dark night of the soul mm. in which we feel God lets us feel like we're far away from him even when we're very close to him and he lets us feel that so that we grow all the more dependent on him and love him all the more we don't do it just for the feelings mm -hmm. we do it because God uh, loves us and it's the right thing to do so mm. I wrote a lot about the dark night of the soul Wow yes well <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, St. John Cross. Yes. <laughs> um, so why were you thrown in prison? Ah, prison. Talk about a dark night of the soul, right? Mm, yeah, you're telling me. Well, like I told you, uh, my friend Teresa Avila and I were reforming the Carmelites, and my brother Carmelites did not like it that I was calling them to live holier lives. And so they got mad at me, and they rejected my reforms, mm. and they threw me in the can. So oh. I spent, and I think I did, I think I did some of my... I think I wrote a bunch there. Anyway, so like I said, I was born in uh, 1540s in um, in Spain, and then I died in 15, uh, 1591, mm. uh, and I was reconciled with my brothers, and, and then I became a, I was declared a saint, and then a doctor of the church. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Um, is there anything else you want to share with us? Why, yes, here. Actually, would you hold would you hold this flashlight for a second? Oh, yeah, sure. Because I want to say that when to uh, fight back against the dark night of the soul, uh -huh. okay, i got to hold this up so that people can see, oh. so I can see. Uh, the fight back against the dark night of the soul, what we need oh. is the light of Christ. Hmm. So, um, the light of Christ, which you know is signified at Easter by the Easter candle. Mm -hmm. The light of Christ is how we, the more we embrace the light of Christ, the more uh, that, uh, if we experience the dark night of the soul, uh, we will be drawn ever more closely to God. So, hmm. darkness is always overcome by light, and uh -huh. Jesus is... The light of the world so we mm -hmm. need a, more of his light to fight against the darkness mm -hmm. and also um on john of the cross is that we're getting close to christmas that's um, right so um we can also refer that um the light is g going to be lightened on christmas it's coming into the world that's right very good nick Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, thanks for that insight. Wow, I, I thought I was a doctor of the church. Maybe you are. Oh, uh, what can I say? No, except your book's upside down there. You're going to do my prayer of the day, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yes. Oopsie doops. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right. <clears throat> yes. Oh, so that being said, we're going to do a prayer to St. John of the Cross. All right. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank, thank, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> Oh God, your priest St. John became a model of perfect 
self-denial and showed us how to love the cross. May we always imitate him and be rewarded with the eternal contemplation of your glory. Saint John the Cross, pray for us. I will. I will say, Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Well, I think we're going to have fun with facts about the saints. Uh, it's my pleasure. God bless you. And have a happy Lent and a Merry Christmas if I if I don't see you. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> God bless you all.